Hello, I'm Jeff Steiner from Americans in France, and I want to show you a little um, presentation I've put together about the French presidential election that's taking place this year. Okay, so let's start with the important dates. What are the important dates? The, the first important date is March 16th. That's when candidates have to submit their 500 or more signatures. The way it works in France to take part in the first round, which is April 22nd, candidates have, have to have the signatures of 500 elected officials in France. There are about 46,000 of them, and you have to have, to be a candidate to take part in the first round, you have to have at least the signatures of 500 of those 46,000. So the first round is April 22nd, and then what happens is the first two vote getters in the first round, assuming no one gets more than 50% and it doesn't look like anybody will because there's so many candidates, there'll be a second round May 6th, two weeks later, and whoever wins that is president. So who are the candidates? Well, these are, these are the main candidates. There are, are others. But the, these are the ones you hear the most about. You have Nicolas Sarkozy, who is the incumbent president, running for re-election. He was first elected in 2007. You have Francois Hollande. Okay, he's the right now. He's the, according to polls, he's the front runner. Uh, he's on the Party Socialist, so it's a socialist party. He's left wing. So Sarkozy is right wing conservative. You have Marie Le Pen, Front National. This is far right. Uh, a political party, kind of on the the margins, but they do very well in elections. They about 15 to 20 percent of the vote is how much she's pulling for she's pulling in most of the polls right now at about 15 to 20 percent she's kind of gone down a little bit but uh, she's doing pretty well uh, Francois Bayrou is uh, the center and he ran for president it's, I think his third or fourth time he's run for president and right now he's pulling about 12 percent he was the third candidate in 2007 he finished third I think about 17 or 18 percent, and he then went off and, f and formed his movement Democratique, his, his uh, party. There's Jean-Luc Mélenchon, Front de Gauche, he's kind of the, the far left or kind of a left-wing populist. Uh, he's taken over for the communist, uh, the communist, and kind of the the far the far left in France. Uh, Eva Jolie, Europe Ecologie Les Verts, uh, she's basically the Greens. Had, has not got off to a good start. It's only polling a couple of percentage points right now. And Dominique de Villepin, who is uh, Republic Solidaire, he was the former um, prime minister. He was actually prime minister when Jacques Chirac was president in the same party that Nicolas, Nicolas Sarkozy is, a, is um, the president of. And um, Sarkozy and Villepin do not like each other. They're, they hate each other, essentially. Okay, so the campaign. What are the issues? Well, in we're in a recession worldwide. Most countries are, and most developed countries, I should say, in Europe and in America, are not doing very well. And so you have what's the most is jobs, obviously, because France has about a ten percent unemployment rate. The economy is very, very slow right now. It's a, it's, it's growing almost, almost zero percent, a little bit over zero percent, and so that's kind of the thing. Uh, what they want to do, S Holland, kind of the left wing, he's trying to do, uh, he wants to create 60,000 jobs in the um, educational jobs. He wants to create 60,000 educational jobs. Sarkozy wants to do growth through reform. He's cut the retirement age, so he, I mean, he raised the retirement age to to get things going. He's done some structural reforms. He, he cut some, some taxes on the wealthy. He's trying to do things to kind of, quote-unquote, liberalize the economy, which makes it more free market friendly. France is basically a socialist country, and it can be very, if you have a business, I have a business, it can be, you pay lots of taxes and it can be a bit rigid. Also, what plays a part in the campaign in France is personality and style, and that's probably Sarkozy's biggest problem right now, even though you have the economy and things aren't going pretty well. He is, he's kind of seen as a, as a politician, of a president for the rich, kind of did it to himself a little bit when he first was elected he went out and he just after he was elected president he went out and took a vacation on, on a supporter's yacht and that just doesn't displays of wealth like that and that doesn't go over very well in france and he's also said some other stuff he insulted somebody and it was caught on camera and he's kind of seen as the bling bling president so holland's been trying to run as a normal guy and so and also what's been playing part of the 500 signatures so 
for any candidate to get on um, the ballot or to be take part in the first round, like I said, they have to have the 500 signatures. And Le Pen, Mary Le Pen, is having a problem with that. Okay, so what happens after the election? So we have the election May 6th, and what happens? Okay, t- about two weeks later, the president is sworn in, so it's really a quick turnaround. He then picks the prime minister, and then the prime minister that way will consult with the president and create a cabinet. And then after that, about six weeks later, is going to be the legislative elections. And that's where the that's when you the parliament is going to be formed. And essentially, what happens is that whoever wins the presidency, generally speaking, gets the uh, legislative elections afterwards. They follow, which is kind of an interesting. So the chances are there will not be a different, um, like a, there is in America, we have a divided government. The president usually gets the legislative elections that happen right after he's elected. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.